I wanted to write about Christmas because I wanted to write about America. Who are we now that we live in this world where so many people for so long had unlimited access to just about anything they wanted, um, especially the middle and upper middle class. People, people say, why did you pick Frisco, Texas? I drove up there and here was this entire little Christmas kingdom of, you know, rows and rows and rows of brand new big houses, 3,000 square foot plus houses, big churches with big active faithful communities, um, a Bush Cheney bumper sticker on every car, and 7 million square feet of chain retail shopping. And I was asking people, who should I, if I was looking for a family to follow at Christmas time, who should I follow? And early on, people said, you need to see the Tchaikovsky house. And the Tchaikovsky house is famous in Frisco because its owners have 50,000 plus lights on the house. And Jeff and Bridget had been doing this for a few years so that the whole town knew that at Christmas time you go to the Tchaikovsky house. So I wanted to follow them, not just because of the house, but because of the inside of the house. I wanted to know more about their relationship to Christmas and their approach to Christmas. I got up in the middle of the night for Black Friday, which is believed to be by some the, the busiest shopping day of the year. It certainly has that weekend has the highest foot traffic in malls. It's, it's, it really kicks off the Christmas season. And in Frisco, Texas, as, as all across America, people camp out in front of these stores. It was there that I met Carol and her family. But I started talking to Carol and taking notes, and she had a very planned budget. They had a big reason why they were there. They were, they were there to buy a computer for her mother for Christmas, and they were there to buy a computer for Ryan that Carol had promised him she would buy, and it was only on sale that morning. A lot of us sit and we see like news footage of people doing the doorbuster sale on Black Friday, and we think, those people are crazy. And all of a sudden, by being with Carol, I was seeing it a different way. And I was seeing it more like a major cultural event that we just do in America, the way that they run with the bulls in Spain every year. You know, we spend so much time uh, in our homes, in our worlds, in our schools, in our little communities, and we spend a great deal of time online. But we don't ever really feel like we're part of something bigger than ourselves. 